Hi guys, welcome back to Novatech. Today we're looking at the Lenovo Mi X 510. So let's start by going over the specifications quickly. So this is a tablet slash laptop convertible. So it comes with a keyboard dock. Um, it uses a Core i5-6200 clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. It's equipped with eight gigabytes of DDR4-2133 RAM. Also, there's a 256 gigabyte SSD in this model, a 12.2 inch full HD touchscreen, which is also IPS, so it should be pretty good on colors, a two cell battery, Wi-Fi, and it comes uh, installed with Windows 10 Pro. So let's open it up and see what's inside. As you can see, it's still in the plastic, so this is the first time I'm opening this up. It's a nice presentation. First we have the keyboard cover. With a little carrying pouch. Then we get to the tablet itself. File that to the side for now. Let's see what else is inside. We get a charging brick. A stylus some books and a battery presumably for the pen and that's it so let's take a look at the tablet what it looks like so here's the tablet itself the front we get the 12 inch IPS display uh, with a camera on top and also some Lenovo uh, branding Around the sides, we have a speaker grill here. This is a, looks like a headphone jack, a volume rocker, and the power button. Around the top, we have some vents. This is an actively cooled tablet um, because it does have quite powerful hardware, so there is some active cooling in there. Around the other side, we have a USB Type-C port, a normal USB port, and a charging connector, and another speaker grill. Now around the back, it's all aluminum. Um, we get another camera at the back here and this really interesting hinge design for the kickstand. The kickstand on this tablet is actually adjustable to any degree you want it, to any angle. So that's really nice and it feels quite sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall or slip over. So we've just booted up the tablet for the first time to have a quick first look at it. Uh, first of all, I've got the keyboard uh, dock on now. The keyboard can actually sit flat on the table or raised up like so and it uh, hinges to the tablet itself. The keys feel pretty nice. There's enough travel for you to be able to type comfortably. There's a little bit of flex, but it's not too bad at all. Um, so looking at the screen now, it actually looks really nice. Um, I like this background that Lenovo's put on. The colors look very vivid. The blacks look pretty good too. Um, we'll have a look quickly at the stylus that's included. This is actually metal. It's got two buttons here and a little pocket clip. Um, let's go ahead and open up the sketch pad so we can see. Just delete this. So there we go, it works flawlessly. You can see actually that when I apply more pressure, um, the line actually gets thicker as well, so it's pressure based and it seems to work really well. So first impressions of the Lenovo Mi X510. They're actually really positive. Um, the build quality of the tablet is really nice. I like the keyboard as well. It feels pretty good to type on. Um, you can also angle it the way you want to, which is really nice. And it comes with this cool little handy clip for the pen that actually goes into your USB port. Very clever. So yeah, we're going to be using this tablet for the next couple of weeks. We're going to do a clean install of Windows 10 first, get rid of all that Lenovo bloatware that we don't want. And um, we're going to be making a full video review later on to tell you guys how we like using it every day. So stay tuned for that. 
Remember, please like our videos and subscribe. It really helps us out and we'll see you next time.